Stop! No, please, please, you don't have to do this, please, please. said wait. Look, I just wanted to apologize. I'm a photographer. I was taking pictures of the graveyard and I obviously took advantage of a situation important to you. You rehearsed that a lot? I said I was sorry. Forget about it. Well, let me at least make it up to you. No need to. Look, there's a steiner up the road. It has some of the best coffee. If I get the cup of coffee, will you leave me alone? I mean, if that's what you want. Emery. William. So anyways, I spend most of my time doing random photo shoots, like really weird stuff that confuses a lot of people. Like for example, the other day I had a scotch tape party. I know it sounds really weird, but it's super funny. So you just take the tape and packing tape, scotch tape, whatever, you know, just clear tape and you stretch your mouth and eyes with it and then take pictures of it and it's supposed to be really funny. <laughs> anyways, I'm sorry, I'm being rude again. Going on about myself, but I didn't ask you anything. So, what do you do? I kill people. No, I'm. I'm a teacher. That's great. What do you teach? Music. You know the chance to mold young minds. So, when you're not molding young minds, what do you do for fun? I see my daughter. Oh, wow. What's her name? Marlena. Marlena. I like that. It's a pretty name. Thanks. So the grave, was that your wife, or...? Who got you into photography? Um, my uncle, actually. May I? Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, of course. You're really good. Well, thanks. Well, this is me. for letting me buy you coffee today. It's nice to meet you, Marie. Wait. You mean, would you want to go out sometime? Probably not, right? But, um... If you did, then you might need my number, obviously.
so I guess call me or don't. You know, I was actually kind of surprised that I got a call today. What? No, sorry. That's that's my fault. I will. I was cold. It wasn't. It was completely my fault for the whole thing. Ever since my uncle bought me a camera, I feel like I've been snapping photos of everything. I guess the way I see it is anything to capture a moment, right? Hmm. Yeah. Did you want another beer? Thanks. You know, when my parents died, I didn't really know what else to do. One day I came home and my uncle bought me a camera just for me. I feel like ever since then I've kind of been hiding behind it. I'm impressed. Killing those men by yourself? I don't know how you found them. You have a knack for this shit, kid. I want you to come work for me. 
It felt good, kid. I know it did. This doesn't lie. You can be 100% you. William? William? Yeah. Is this your daughter? Yeah. She's beautiful. Thank you. She's not in here, is she? No. Stay here. Thank you. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Are you leaving? Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow. Oh, okay. But I had a good time tonight. I did too. Good night, William. Uh, good night, Marie.
meet at the usual spot at five. I'm taking him out today. Hey. Hi. Yeah, sorry. Sorry I missed your call. It's fine. I just wanted to see if you'd come to dinner with my uncle and I. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Of course. Great. Okay. See you later. See you soon. Is Daniel dead? Would I be here if he wasn't? Good. Bastard was becoming a thorn in my ass. I also have another job for you. I know, I know, it's really fast, but Tony from Lone and Go wants this guy dead. Owes too much. A gambling problem. Just do what you do best. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, he's not even here yet. Hey! Hi! Hey, sorry I'm late. That's okay. How are you doing, huh? Good. You doing good? Yeah. You're good. William, Hi. this is my uncle. Paul. Just call me Paul, all right? Nice to meet you, Paul. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. I heard a lot about you. Thought I'd be taller. I'm Sorry. just kidding. You, you're hungry? Yeah. Let's yeah. get some food, all right? Come on. Been here before? I haven't, actually. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> good. I cannot believe that he said that. I honestly couldn't either. I mean, <laughs> I guess I kind of could. Right. <laughs> I had a really good time tonight. I did too. It was four years ago that they died. My wife and kid. It was a uh, Saturday afternoon and Marlena just gotten up from a nap. Kate was getting ready to go to the grocery store. She was... They, they were on their way out, and she had forgotten the keys on the table, so I ran, grabbed them. 
gave it to her. She uh, kissed me on the cheek and said, I'll be back soon. She got down to the end of the street and this, this car came out of nowhere, slammed into her and she was, she was hit. I want you to come work for me. You can be one of the one person that you Lone sharks, Paul. They want you dead. No. Nick's not happy. You don't have to do this, please. They hired me to kill you. <laughs> what? What is this? In there, you'll find money and passports. Passports? I. I need you to do one thing for me, Paul. Why? Listen. Why passports? Listen. I'm listening. What? I need you to take Marie with you. She know? No. And I want it to stay that way. Understand? Yeah. Yeah, please. Go. Okay.
Hello.